Okay guys, so today we have an engineering session which is going to be led by our uh, Lord of Time. Lord, you have the floor. Thank you, Hershey. Right, well, as we mentioned, this is basically, uh, this is going to be the basics of the engineering profession, what they're all about, the strategies you can use, and uh, basically, and basic ship layouts for them. The basic... The way that the engineering profession is built is for support. They are designed to keep not only your friends, but yourself alive at any cost. The basic method this is done with is tanking. Tanking is, as we all know what a tank is, it's designed to withstand a lot of damage. A good tank will be able to not only deal out damage, but also withstand any onslaught. At least one to one. This is done with, uh, basic, with the basic engineering abilities of emergency power to shields, uh, which is just a, sh a small buff. It's normally best to have two of these in your build. The other, other abilities include reverse shield polarity, which basically converts any incoming damage into, uh, into your shields, which is very good during an alpha strike from a tactical officer. Once you've got someone wanting to attack you, you pop that and it basically means they can't hurt you. With uh well there are good engineering abilities, there are also good science abilities and tacticals. The common ability for tactical is tactical team, which is one that distributes shields to where they're needed. This uh basically means it'll move it to the shielding that's being attacked at the time. You also have science and engineering teams, which are uh, a shield heal and a debuff cleaner. And engineering team is a hull heal. The other science abilities that you can include are uh, hazard emitters, which is just a it's a, it's a hull heal over time and a debuff cleanser. And transfer shield strength, which is also... Uh, a shield here which can not only be used on yourself but your allies. All of these abilities are used in tanking and it's normally best to have multiple copies of them if you're a pure tank. A, the standard ship used by tanks is a cruiser normally because of their high uh, hull, high um, shield modifiers and high base shields. While they do sacrifice low turn rates, it's very difficult to kill one that's well built. Right, we're going to be uh, demonstrating the basics of tanking now. On who? who makes a viable target. Okay, the sorry. Gala... We shall start off with the Gala, that is normally a mid-range cruiser. It's okay, guys, damage one elephants. moment. Make a circle. Yeah, because the weapons that uh, most cruisers use are beams, the typical ability of a tactical is a fire at will, which means that you'll be able to hit everyone at once. Which is why... Uh, engineering captains are so good at what they do because they can annoy everyone at once which makes them it makes people want to kill them because while ever you can have a, a good amount of heals they're useless if no one wants to target you you'll just be sat in the corner and no one will go near you but with but so with certain abilities like direct energy modulation then you can actually make people you can make yourself a viable target you can make people want to attack you Okay, I'm going to be demonstrating on uh, Hershey's Gala. But you can leave the 10 kilometer. No, it's bad. Shit. Now 
notice that every time I get his shields down, he will always use a buff to bring them back up. While Hull does slowly get down with the bleed through, this is countered using uh, the engineering team, although it is one of the lesser recommended abilities. You also have an auxiliary to structural integrity field. The build he's using is auxiliary to battery, so that counters that, sadly. But auxiliary to battery is good as a very quick... No, uh, sorry, auxiliary to structural integrity field is a very good quick heal. It has a very short recharge time, which means you can use it very quickly. So, w when I'm now... Not currently, but you are uh, in dire need of a heal heal. Your uh, primary, your only choice is the Miracle War. So it buffs your shields and hull almost instantly. The Miracle Worker is one of the uh, most annoying abilities for a tactical officer like myself. Because it can, mm. it can counteract pretty much any damage I do instantly. But once it's on cooldown, then that's when the opportunity is. Now I'm using <laughs> Rotate Shield Frequency. Another innate ability for engineers, yep. it's uh, Captain Compassion. This one is, uh, as uh, Lord already said, uh, Reverse Shield Polarity. So every energy uh, energy weapon that's fired me, it's transferred to my shield. Reverse Shield Polarity is uh, best, uh, best saved for when you start to actually lose your shields quite a bit. Mm. It's, it's a very good oh shit button because it like, will bring them up Like instantly. Miracle War that could be mm -hmm. yours as the Lord said, oh worker. shit worker. moment. I think we can call it there. Okay, yep. or you can, who else wants to demonstrate the Let's try with cruisers. Let's go with Nikki. Yay! Okay, go into the circle. Lord will attack you. Try to tank as better as you can. Is that an Odyssey? Yes, it is. Yeah, Ops that's, cruiser. Yeah, that's good ship for tanking. So s s try to stay alive as much as possible. The Ops Cruiser is a good demonstration for this because it's one of the most durable. It's very, there's very limited uh, tactical options and science options with this ship. It's built purely for tanking. If he's, if he's attacking you at one facing, try to get to another where your shields are uh, more powerful. Yes, the, the typical strategy with an engineer is to always keep on the move. While that is quite difficult with the slow turn rate, uh, the best ability, uh, the best strategy is to climb because that means I have to keep moving upwards, and that means you're always out of my arc, or most of the time yes. out of my arc. So, try to avoid his frontal facing arc, his weapons. Good, good, very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay, I think that's enough for uh, Nikki. Can disengage. Who's the next volunteer to demonstrate tanking? I'll go. Let's go with Spud then. Um uh, Hunter you could engage uh, yeah, Hunter, Spud because you're tactical included. Yeah. Go attack. Who's the opposition before they uh it's Hunter. it's Hunter. Okay. In the X
Another thing to be noted, cruisers are the as they are the most used um, ships for the engineering class. They have cruiser commands, which are very useful not only for yourself yeah. but for your teammates because they can provide movement buffs. They can provide uh, damage buffs. Well, the, while this does require them to stay in range, typically they will be in range anyway. So very useful ability to have. Good, good. Uh, so, in when you are tanking or anything else, uh, essentially, or what's your first? Sorry. What's your first ability that you will activate in PvP? Who can tell me? Or just part of shields. Yes, that's it. And actually that wasn't the first ability you activated. Sir Stonefire. Good. So, first ability to activate is emergency Actival power team. to shield. Emergency power to shields. Why emergency power to shields? Immediate defense above. And how much e uh, emergency power to shields lasts? It lasts you 30 seconds. And how much did tactical team last? It usually <laughs> lasts you about 10. That's correct. So your first ability when you engage opponent must be emergency power to shields. It lasts longer gives you better defensive buffs. Tactical team is also desirable but after the EPTS because it redistributes your shield power and with emergency power to shields you get a boost in your shields. So you first get a boost then you redistribute the, that boost to your uh, uh, forward, aft, right and left facing of shields. So first one is emergency power to shield. Remember that. It's the most important thing to remember. So, so who's next wants to demonstrate tanking? Let's go yeah. with um, Summer Wolf. Oh, you and Summer Wolf. Mac, let's go with Mac. Who is going to attack? Uh, Sirs wasn't on your side. Yes. Okay. Sirs attack. Dark? Sirs attack Mac. Okay, oh my. Pat, stop. Sorry. I don't have emergency power shields. That's not a good thing. Well, I've got reverse shield power, and engineering team, and ox to sieve. <laughs> Which ship do you have? This is the mirror heavy cruiser. Uh, you must, you must have a place to emergency power to shields always. At least, whatever at least ship a, you uh, have. At least a rank one is enough. Mm. It's and it's a yeah, typically if you have enough spaces, the best ones to go for are a copy of one and a copy of three. There's yes. a, a, a large boost and a more common... You boost. just have two places. It's EPTS 1 and Auxiliary to Structure Integrity 1. If you have multiple, like three, that's what uh, Lord just said. You must have a place for Emergency Power to Shield. Always. But no more than no more than two because they share yes, a cooldown yes. and a third one is useless. Okay, that's that's good. About EPTS. Without EPTS, doing rather well. Okay, that's it. Good guys, very good. Who was left? 
Boarding parties? Really? What? Okay, uh... So, uh... Hunter, you attacked... Now you're tank... You're gonna tank... Uh... Uh, Lord, Dennis? you attack him, or who is on okay. the opposite side? Lord, attack him. So, yeah. Hunter, first EPTS, then tactical team, and so on. Max, I'm a problem with my critic party here. Okay, try to stay alive. Don't go to redistribute those shields. Good, good. Nice, nice. This is a good example of a combination of both tanking and damage. As I mentioned, while having decent tanking abilities is good, you need a reason to use them. Don't be a tank just because you don't want to get killed. That you're pretty much use, useless to your team. Either you want to be a tank and do damage, or you want to be a tank and heal your teammates. Just to be a tank because of it, it's useless. Good, very good, very good. So, uh, Hunter, try to escape him. Go up, go up. Up, up, up. Good. Try to escape his front arc. Excellent, excellent. Change bearing. Also, uh, excellent. Hunter, uh, since, since you are using Aux to bad build, uh, when you are using it, uh, when you are under heavy, under heavy uh, fire, you know, and you are attacked from the two, three players, do not use Aux to bad, only then focus heavily on defending yourself. If you use Aux to bad, yeah, yeah, you will die faster, Excellent. since it drives auxiliary. Excellent, Hunt. I think that's, that's enough. Can this thing... Very good. And the last one, uh, Sirs. Sirs, you're now gonna tank. Uh, Lord, can you attack Sirs? Okay, mm -hmm. so. to the center? Yeah, so let's go to the center. And remember which ability to first activate. This is a start for a good engineer to start with because it even, well, while you do need to be climbing when you're being attacked, it's good to start off that way. Okay, good, sir. That makes it harder to attack. Okay, EPTS, tactical team, just redistribute those shields. Come on, come on. Good, good. Good. Heal, heal. Good. Yes, well, shield tanking is the most common method used. Hull tanking is it also yes. a good option to consider. Just when you are defending yourself, don't blow up every of your abilities. Because they all go to cooldown. That way, when they are on cooldown, you're pretty much defenseless. Okay, sir, ZPTS, CPTS. So on cooldown. That's what I was just saying.
Mm -hmm. uh, your mistake was that you activated emergency power to weapon. Are tanking. Your primary here ah. is emergency power to shields. Ah crap! I thought uh, the one I had here was uh, hard engines. Yeah, no problem. So have that in mind in uh, in the future. 